Okay, so, since you guys decided to share your night with us, I wanted to share a little story about the Zaywell. So, so, about two years ago, I had a mental health crisis, and, <laughs> woo, yeah, yeah, same, um, yeah, we're all, we're all here to go, yeah. um, and, uh, I could not function at all, and, um, so my lovely parents, I'm from London, England, and they said, come back home, and I was like, fuck. The dream's over, I was on the plane home, and I didn't have a return flight to the US. So I got home, and I, uh, I called the boys, and I basically said, um, you guys should go on without me and find a singer who can, you know, help you guys elevate your career. And be <laughs> well, that's what they said. If you didn't hear that, she said, never. <laughs> Um, yeah, they were like, no thanks, we'll wait for you. Um, and they put their dreams and aspirations on hold for me, which is, yeah. Make some noise for the boys. They can hear you. Yeah, that kind of uh, loyalty and that, that shit is precious and hard to come by. And so, yeah, the Zewa was built on some real stuff and, uh, Thank you guys for sharing in that and being a part of this family. So, yeah. The, the reason I, uh, I always forget to say why I'm, why I'm just up here talking and not singing. Uh, I'm gonna play a song, an acoustic song, um, a cover that kind of exemplifies that. But the keyboard is from 2009, so it's gonna take a while to turn on. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Hey, Weldon, it's Weldon again! <laughs> yeah, he's helping me still. Um, anyway, guys, I went through here earlier. It's really fucking cool. Have you guys all been through, like, the exhibit? <laughs> You're like, yeah, we're here. We're in the exhibit. <laughs>